how to set up apps and workforce pro wf6590 open browser and search for this website which is appson.com you will find this website scroll down select the region on the home page hover and support and click on printers on the printer support page scroll down select printer types and select printer series name and now select printer model name after selecting model name click on it and you will find the printer page where you can see its name and image by scrolling down you will see downloads tab and under downloads tab you can see the operating system on which my PC is running and after that you will see the driver section this is a recommended driver from Appson team its name is drivers and utilities combo package installer you can see release date file size and file name click on driver name and you will see more detail about it like description some more information compatible systems and in some important note so by clicking on download button it will start downloading I'm going to do it you can see download has been started and is it completed now I am going to launch it by clicking on this arrow icon after launch a window will appear to you and it will ask allow this app to make changes to your device click on yes and later this window will appear where you need to click on ok to continue now file is extracting just wait and now driver is launching accept license agreement click on install now it's downloading required software and uh, installing it to complete printer setup click on next now we need to select connection type like you want to set it up through wireless or USB cable or ethernet cable so I'm going to select Wi-Fi and click on next I'm going to select setup printer for the first time and I'm selecting using printer buttons and Wi-Fi name and password will display you if you are connected through Wi-Fi and you need to follow these instructions on your printer control panel follow these instructions enter the password click on next confirm wireless setting and click on next and finally you need to choose that your printer is connected to your network or it is not yet connected so I'm going to select this one so in this way you can follow these instructions and you can complete the setup of your Epson printer so I hope this video was helpful to you if you want any further help you can call us on the given number in this video description or click on the support link.